and welcome to Georgia Sports Daily, your source for news and information on the Georgia Bulldogs. Today is Monday, January 11th, and I'm Kevin Kopp here at Stegman Coliseum, joined by Angel Robinson. The Lady Bulldogs with their 16th straight win, extending a school record. Angel tonight in a 61-52 win over the Florida Gators, had 14 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 blocks. A complete effort from you inside. This was a game where Georgia had the lead by as many as 16 points in the first half. Florida kept coming back. You guys have really had to work hard to keep the unbeaten streak. What was it about the Gators that kept them so close tonight? Uh, they were the three-point team. You know, they just came out there, just kept shooting, you know, constantly, constantly. Uh, we wasn't getting out on them. And uh, during the halftime, Coach kept reminding us, you know, what did we learn over the last three days. And uh, apparently we did a good job in the second half, you know, closing out on a three-point shooter. You guys have to go on the road now to Nashville and to Fayetteville, Arkansas, to take on Vandy and Arkansas in your next two games before coming back here against Tennessee. Is the pressure of this 16-0 starting to, to take a little bit of a toll as this team gets ready to go on the road for two straight? It's not more. It's not about the record. It's about, you know, playing on somebody else's court. You know, we don't have our home court advantage, you know, for the next week or so. And uh, apparently we just have to be focused for it. And, uh, and I think, you know, we'll be ready and we'll be prepared. So right now we're just going to enjoy the day off tomorrow and be prepared for uh, Vanderbilt and Arkansas on Sunday. Angel Robinson leading the Bulldogs to a nine-point win over the Florida Gators here at Stegman Coliseum. That's what Angel had to say. Let's take a listen to what Coach Andy Landers had to say about the victory. And defensively, I made comments to the team after our last game. I thought she and Portia just shut everything down under the basket in our last game. So Angel's been playing well and certainly came up big today. Defensively, we, we just felt like we had to play one-on-one -on -one on the po in the post tonight, and, and we were very, very good at that. The Lady Bulldogs not the only team in action in Athens over the weekend. A very busy January weekend for four of Georgia's sports teams, including the Gym Dogs, who kicked off their 2010 season and their quest for a sixth consecutive national title. It was far from easy against the number seven Stanford Cardinal. The Bulldogs had to come from behind in the final routine of the final event in floor exercise. The senior Courtney McCool delivered a 9.925 to lead the Gym Dogs to a 195.150 to 195.0. 0-5-0 victory by just a tenth of a point over Stanford. Here's what McCool had to say after her performance Saturday. It was it was great to finish off with that floor routine because that really felt like me. Finally, I like let go of everything before my floor routine, seeing everybody go up and try to be perfect and try to be more than we like. We weren't doing us very well today. We were really we were really fighting. I think all the day was about fight. Unfortunately, around the rest of the Bulldog Nation, it was a weekend of close misses. The men's basketball team, on the heels of their upset victory over number 17 Georgia Tech, traveled to historic Rupp Arena searching for their second straight win over a top 25 opponent. They had the lead late against Kentucky but couldn't hold on as the Wildcats stayed unbeaten with a 76-68 victory over the Bulldogs. In the world of swimming, the men's and women's swimming teams traveled to Austin, Texas for a dual meet against the Longhorns. Both teams falling by close margins. The number one Lady Bulldogs upset by number four Texas. The final there, 153 to 147. And the number 10 men's team fell 163 to 129, the final there. That's all for Monday's edition of Georgia Sports Daily. Check back to georgiadogs.com tomorrow for another edition. Have a great Monday, everybody.